Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Sunday, but this is going up on a Wednesday most likely. I am going to do another workout and um, I'm gonna do the same one as yesterday. I know you're probably gonna be like, Alex, like how are we supposed to believe you? Because I'm wearing the exact same thing but hopefully you'll believe me and the time lapse is gonna be the same, but I'm gonna um, start the time lapse kind of in the middle because the last time lapse you saw was like the beginning and then my camera battery died. So I think I'm gonna just film myself doing the second half of the workout because I'm doing the half an hour one again. I feel like that one's the one that really kicks my butt and um, I feel the most fit after it. So I think I'm gonna do that one. I'm already starting to sweat guys. Not good and I'm just holding a camera. I already feel a difference in my body Body and that's just amazing like I feel a lot better so I'm happy I'm still a little sore from like the past week and day so I'm gonna do my exercises and then Sherry and I are going to fit life foods later today we are also going to be taking down the tree which finally it's almost February it's a little embarrassing but I can't do it alone and I need someone to help me with all of that so that's the game plan for today let's get into the workout all right so we are on our way to fit life foods sherry how have you been you haven't been on the vlog i know it's been a while i know i am just fine but are we gonna go to the mall first oh yeah i want to try some lululemon leggings and i know it's like crazy expensive and i normally would never do this but one of my friends suggested this to me for a video idea. Like, are Lululemon leggings worth it? And so now I'm doing all of these workouts and stuff. So I wanna put them to the test and show you guys if Lulu leggings are worth it. So I'm gonna have to get some leggings, which well, I hate true. paying so much money for those darn things. Like you're looking at someone who spent like 30 bucks on a set from Amazon, those are Amazon like the entire, Prime. like top and bottom, right? Yeah, 30 bucks. And, then, and it works just fine, you know? Like, I mean, it kind of rolls down my little fat roll, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna get some of those leggings, which I'm gonna look at Sierra Furtado's video because she recommended some, and I really want to try the ones that she recommends just because I like her and I'm falling, again, under influence from an influencer, so. Why do you like them? What is it about those know. particular ones that you like? I don't know. Is she just color, recommends the them. Or? I don't know. Like, I don't, people are just obsessed with Lululemon leggings and they pay like 60, 70, hundred dollars for just bottoms. I mean, if you had indisposable income, like that, that's okay. You know, then we're going to fit life foods because I want some variety in my meals when it comes to dinner time. And I don't want to be eating things. I just want a variety. And since these are like more controlled portions and healthy and fresh, I think it'll be a good idea. I think it'd be a great idea because I'm looking for some additional ones for me too because I've been eating Atkins and our public store does not carry as many um, options as I would like. So I kind of eat the same thing over and over again when you eat them every night or every every lunchtime and sometimes at night it kind of gets boring. So I'm anxious to try it. I understand they are more expensive, but we'll see. I just want to see because they advertise they have some uh, low carb. So I just wanna see what their definition of low carb is. All right guys, we made it to the Millennium Mall. I guess I accidentally said the Florida Mall and Sherry was all like, uh, we're here, where is it? And I'm like, um, well, we actually need to be at the Millennium Mall. And then she's all like, okay. Sorry, Sherry. That's all right. All right, we made it to Lululemon. A very expensive Lululemon. All right, so we found the Align leggings. I'm definitely gonna try these on because I'm not gonna spend this much money and like not try them on. Okay, so I definitely need a bigger size in this area. That's a little tight. And then uh, the leggings are, they feel good, but I'm gonna try the bigger size. So this is what it looks like, this stuff. Oh, yeah, it's a go. Okay, so this one's really cute. I really like the back on it, if you guys can see, um, like this area. I really like this, but I definitely need a size bigger. Okay, so these are the leggings. Um, these are the size, these are the size eight, and um, I really, really like these. I'm having my mom get me a size 10 in these, just so it's not as tight, and I feel more comfortable in it. 
but the leggings are a yes and now I understand why people like these so much so when I do my review video of everything I already can tell I will probably really like them but stay tuned okay so we got the leggings and I'm so excited for this video um, shout out to my friend for giving me this idea it was a little expensive but honestly like I think the video will cover it I don't know what do you think Sherry I don't know we'll see we'll see I'm hoping that it does well because a lot of my videos about reviews and comparisons do pretty well on my channel so I'm hoping that this one will do as well as the other ones um, so now we are off to Fit Life Foods We've made it to Fit Life Foods. We are here and they kind of label everything um, with colors. So the green is like lunch and dinner and then the blue over there is breakfast. I'm excited. I'm looking at all this stuff and it actually looks really good. And I'm a pretty picky eater. All right, I'm gonna look now. Sherry's like going crazy over here. <laughs> all right, Sherry, show the camera which ones you got. Um, three protein mixed grill. I got the same one. And grilled chicken vegetables. I got the same one. And simply grilled salmon. And the simply grilled salmon. Okay, I got all of those, right? Yes. And I got the mac and cheese, and I also am gonna try the firecracker shrimp. So these all look pretty good. I'm excited. And then the rest of the other three are the same as Sherry. All right guys, so we are home now and we're gonna put in the meals. I will show you a quick little glimpse of what they look like and everything, but I'm gonna make a whole video of our first impressions and cooking it. Stay tuned so you can see that video. This doesn't mean I'm gonna eat these meals all the time because I'm still gonna like have my regular lunch. I'm still gonna eat my salad and turkey like normal, maybe have mac and cheese and green beans sometimes, but this gives a little flavor and everything. So that is why. I want to try them and they are kind of pricey but if you compare it to eating out so going to Panda Express let's say or what other restaurants were we saying like Hooters, Hooters or, um, Three yeah. Rivers. Four Rivers yeah so that's kind of like how you can compare it I'll show you guys the foods all right guys so this is what it looks like we kind of just got done filming our little talking points but I like it it's good it is really good I wanted to make sure I didn't forget showing you guys what the food looks like. I don't know how you're eating it so fast. Mm. Is it worth twice the price of Adkins? Mm. Probably not for every day. Oh wait, you already said that, Jerry. I know, but part of that too is because of the location. If it was right around oh, the corner, yeah, yeah, you're right. If we had one next to Publix that we could just pop into, it'd be worth it. It would be worth it. Yeah, yeah. But if you can stop on your way home, it's it could be on your way home. True, which I could. That was a good point. Christmas is officially over in the Blankenship Crabtree house. Are we going to keep these? I think we should keep those out. They I actually, like them like I that. like them like that too. Yeah, we could just keep them out. I don't know. Valerie might say something, but overall we got the tree all cleaned up. It was looking back to normal. I need to take care of that area. And then our new vacuum cleaner cleaned it all up. I mean, I would be good with just having the, the gray and white ones and not putting the mauve ones out because they're like... They're getting to the point where there's like holes. Yeah, there's holes in them. So let's discuss that. Just getting rid of the mauve ones. Yep. Because I think they're fine. Okay, so before dinner, I think I'm going to edit a video just because uh, I always like to be on top of my video posts and everything. So that is what I'm going to do right now and all the vlog is on this SD card. Okay, so for dinner, I'm going to have one of these. I'm probably also gonna try the mac and cheese because like, honestly, I've been dying to try this. So I'm probably gonna try that. I'm gonna put that up there. Alexa, what is today's date? 26, 26. Well, everything is good to the 29th, so I don't know, man. I was thinking I would try the shrimp, yeah. I could try the shrimp. Sherry and I are gonna do a video trying everything. We'll trying uh, a couple of the similar ones. So I think on the 30th, not on that actual day, but like sometime, um, we're gonna try the salmon one together because we're super excited about that one. So I think I'm gonna try this one. Need to read how to cook it and everything. Okay, so this is what the shrimp looks like all nicely cooked in the microwave 
And then we had the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese was hot, so it kind of burned me and like slipped. I'm like, you too expensive to be wasted. So I kind of scooped it back in the, not all of it came out. It was just like a little bit. I can guarantee you, I don't like the smell of this when it's like frozen, but it smells a lot better once it's cooked. I don't know if that makes sense. So the seasoning tastes kind of weird, but it's not bad. I don't know if that makes sense. It looks like something that they put with the rice, like a little seasoning, which is interesting. Maybe it's garlic, or something like garlic. Then I'm gonna try the green beans for you guys. They do taste fresh. Kind of plain, but fresh. Like it's not a bad type of plain. I like that fresh taste. And I'm gonna try some of the rice. I think this is a stuff that has like a lot of stuff in it. Actually, I think it's the shrimp. It's whatever they put on the shrimp it makes it smell funky. But it, again, it's not as bad when it's cooked. But let me try the rice. Not bad, not bad. That's pretty good. I'll catch you when I'm done with this and I'll try the mac and cheese on camera. And now, the moment of truth, the mac and cheese. I'm hoping this is good. It smells really good, so. Um, also guys, I did finish this. It was really good. I just had to like get used to it because I normally don't like a lot of like things touching and like mixed and everything. But overall, like it was pretty tasty. And I find when I am like getting used to the stuff, I eat slower, which is actually good for you. Anyway, let's just try the mac and cheese. It's kind of plain, not gonna lie. Don't think I would purchase this one again. The other two I just had, like this one I would purchase again. And then the chicken one that Sherry and I ate earlier. Oh, definitely. But this is just kind of plain. That's my overall opinion. <laughs>